What's happening YouTube? It's your boy Captain Swole coming at you with another video and in this video I will show you how to get a big chest using a barbell bench press alone pyramid style. Now first you want to go up the pyramid warming up to a heavy single which will be anywhere from 115 to 130 percent of your working set weight. For example if your working set weight is 225 pounds 130 percent of that will be 290 to 295 pounds now that's the weight you want to warm up to now you're not testing your strength when doing this you are simply just warming up your nervous system so that you can effectively execute your working set weights now the only reason i'm testing my strength in this video is because i have not had the chance to bench press as frequently as i wanted to since late november when i finished the 30 day bench press challenge now the good news is I only lost 10 pounds of bench press strength since late November all thanks to the muscle memory I gained during the 30 day bench press challenge. Usually when I'm trying to build my bench press I usually start from a deeper deficit anywhere from maxing I usually max out anywhere from 325 to 345 pounds starting off but ever since I completed the 30 day bench press challenge I've been able to hit 365 pounds at will even after a long layoff. So that's an excellent starting point to build from. Well, enough about me. Okay, now, so you work your way up the pyramid. You got all your energy, you got all your strength. Now you're going down the pyramid. Now you can go about this multiple ways. What I did, I dropped off 70 pounds for my one rep max, and I did it for, for six reps, which was 295 pounds. I did for six reps. Took off 20 pounds. Added two more reps, did 275 for eight reps. Took off 20 pounds, did 255 for 10 reps, and so on. I did that for five sets. Now you, you can do, you can, you can do anything you want. You can, like I said, if you're doing 225, you do 225 for 10 reps, eight re anywhere from six to eight reps. Drop off 10, 20, 10, 15, and 20 pounds. You know, you can get creative after this. Just go downhill. It, you know any way you would like as long as you're giving max effort you're giving your best and you're going to failure now as you'll see on this set I was supposed to do 10 reps but I mean I completed 10 reps but I wasn't able to get 10 reps in a row so I since I had no spot or I used common sense I re-racked it rested a little bit and I completed the set just because you're scheduled to do 10 reps for a specific set you don't have to get all 10 in a row especially if you have no spot or you can re-rack it complete it now your goal would be to you know eventually get 10 in a row at that weight but if you can't get it just hey re-rack it especially if you have no spot if you have a spotter he probably can you know help you with those last two reps you know force rep it but if you had no spotter re-rack that thing get it again same thing happened to me on set four and five i couldn't get all the, the reps i wanted to get in a row so i re-racked it and i completed the set and man, I love this style of training. I believe this is the best way to get the most size and strength because you're hitting all rep ranges. Now I'm not like one of those weirdos who say who prescribe one rep range and say, oh, you only um, one to five is the best rep range, and anything over five is a waste of time, or six to twelve or eight to twelve is the best rep range to build muscle. Anything less than that is a waste of time, or twelve to twenty or go home. I'm not one of those weirdos. I believe that. All rep ranges matter and they're all work together to reach a common goal, which is to get size and strength. So be open to everything and what, find your sweet spot. So whatever works for you within that rep range, stick with that. But be open to all rep ranges. Don't be a weirdo and close yourself off thinking that there is only one there's, there's only one one way there's not one way one to five is not the best six to twelve is not the best twelve to twenty is not the best they all work together for good so that's about it if you have any questions leave them in the comment section if you have not yet subscribe to the channel and click the notification icon and be on the lookout for more videos in the future and also tell me what type of videos you guys like to see Based on the um, metrics, I see a lot of you guys like my bench press videos more. So if you would like to see more of those, let me know and I'll make more.